Hello, how are you today? Welcome back to Lens World. Hope you're having an amazing day. So we're back. We're back again. <laughs> anyway. How you doing? Cool. So, we're back again with another reaction video. And this one... And... And this one is to top five scary ghost videos to scare you senseless. This is a Nuke's top five. Link is always in the description down below. When it comes to this, when it comes to this. So, I've got my juicage. Mm. As per usual, don't forget, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Change the bell notification to all so you don't miss a video uploaded by Lens World. Leave comments down below. So, I'm ready. You're ready. Let's go. Top five ghosts caught on camera. Child's Play. Facebook user Ashley Hammond believes that throughout her life, she's always had something paranormal attached to her. She says that no matter where she goes, spooky things always happen. When Ashley moves to a new home in Utah, she starts to see her children walking up and down the staircase on random occasions. Now, usually, Ashley's children walking up and down the stairs would be completely normal. But you see... This happens when Ashley's children are asleep, or sometimes when they're not even at home at all. Ashley believes that she might be seeing something supernatural that is mimicking the appearance of her children. Now Ashley wants to prove that she is not just imagining these strange phenomena, so she buys a security camera and points it at the staircase. Then one night when all of her children are in bed asleep, this happens. The camera captures a dark figure with glowing eyes that seems to walk up the staircase. A figure that has no visible lower body. So, what do you think this could be? Let me know down in the comments. Now this next video was shared to the internet without a source, so I'm not exactly sure what's going on here. The video shows what looks like security camera footage from a seemingly average home, but then something happens that's downright creepy. translucent childlike figure seems to walk slowly through the living room. Since there's no source, I have no idea whether this footage is real or fake. But this creepy little ghost child is definitely spooky. Monique Chacon is spending a fun day with her son at a park in California when suddenly the little boy begins to act very bizarre. I mean, and then 
you see him digging some at all up in that have been, but I mean you don't know do you I mean it, it could have been fate the kid could have been told to do that she could have pre pre told him to do that you know could even could be could be her phone she put it there told him it was there and told him uh, come over you know what I mean but if not then that's freaky as hell Out of nowhere, the boy just suddenly seems to stop and stare at someone or something that we can't see. Then, without a moment's hesitation, he drops to the ground and starts digging furiously with his hands and finds a random phone from underneath the heavy pile of leaves. After watching the footage back later, Monique believes that something supernatural might have instructed her son to find that phone. Hi guys, I'm just giving an update on what happened to the phone. Well, I threw it away. Um, I didn't think anything at the time of when I threw it away um, that I shouldn't have until I watched the video. Um, after watching the video, it didn't sit right with me. It kind of um, gave me the creeps, actually. But um, there really is no story time. The phone was broken, the face was cracked, there was a battery on top of the face, like in the front of the face, but it was broken, so I threw it away. Um, that's it, there's really no story time, he just played and um, I kept recording him, so that's what I do. I record all my kids when they're playing baseball, football, at the park, I'm that mom <laughs> that records every minute and second of their lives, um, but that's it. So, unfortunately, Monique threw the phone away, leaving us all to wonder just what was on that broken phone. Now, I have to say that this is one of the strangest videos I've ever seen, but what do you think? Did a spirit tell the little boy to find the phone, or just what is going on here? You tell me. The Campbell Haunting this next video is from Paranormal Investigators and Brothers Josh, Sean, and Rocky Foreman. On their YouTube channel, Paranormal Nightmare TV Series, they set out to investigate the abandoned company housing of the Youngstown Sheet and Tube Company in Campbell, Ohio. The area, consisting of 146 apartments, was built in 1918 to serve as housing for the workers at the Youngstown Steel Factory. In 1977, on a day now known as Black Monday, the steel company, without warning, just closed its doors, instantly firing over 5,000 workers with no warning. News we've received this morning from Youngstown Sheet and Tube is... ...is just the worst possible news that we as your elected public officials could have received. These workers were left with nothing and deeply in debt. Sadly, some of them saw no way out. These workers tragically took their own lives right inside their company apartments. Slowly but surely, the apartment complexes were abandoned and left to rot. Now it goes without saying that the abandoned homes have a dark history and are believed to be haunted. Visitors, renovators, and tenants all claim to have witnessed terrifying paranormal activity. Yes, there's spirits here. There's sad spirits here. They lost everything and they have unfinished business and they don't know what to do. All those years, all those people that came in and lost their lives in here because they overdosed. There's a lot of ghosts here. The Paranormal Nightmare team intends to find out whether the claims are true. The Foreman brothers split up to cover more area. Rocky is alone and goes into an apartment where the decaying body of a man was found. Josh and Sean set out to explore a different residence on the property. So Josh and Sean are alone when they suddenly hear something very disturbing. Somebody's here, let me know. Hi, my name's Rocky. Can you tell me your name? Are you in this house? Did you hear 
it. Dude, I swear that song like somebody on Josh. I thought it was Rocky. Josh and Sean hear someone calling Josh's name from somewhere outside. The two brothers believe that the voice is their brother Rocky calling out to them, but they quickly realize that it's not him. Inside the other apartment, Rocky is completely unaware of what is happening and is busy asking questions using a spirit box. Now, this isn't the only time this creepy phenomena occurs. That night, Josh and Rocky are outside, while this time, Sean is inside on the upper floor doing a solo investigation. Again, they hear someone calling out. It's like when you're inside, you don't hear any of the shit outside. <gasps> What's wrong? What happened? Nothing. What are you doing? Why were you yelling screaming? I wasn't. We were sitting outside on that front porch. And it sounded just like your voice yelling, scream, 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 like you heard a scream, and you're yelling for us to come help. No, I was just... And it sounded just like your voice. I was just sitting up here asking questions. I had the camera on me the whole time when you guys walked out. Josh and Rocky believe that they are hearing their brother Sean calling out for help, and they hurry inside. It wasn't shown. Josh is intrigued by the unexplained cries and decides to do a solo investigation of his own in the upstairs apartment. Again, he captures something creepy. My name is Josh. Can you please come in here and talk to me? Was that you? Nothing worse than being in a creepy house. I'll show you guys what I see. That's all I see is complete darkness. Now, even though they didn't know it at the time, that's not all that the Foreman brothers captured during their investigation of the Youngstown Steelworker Apartments. When they get back home, they review their footage of an interview with the apartment complex's redeveloper, Timothy Sokoloff. You've and taken the undertaking of trying to save all these buildings. Yep. 14 years worth of it. <laughs> wow. In the footage, they noticed that on the abandoned lot behind Timothy, they accidentally caught something downright chilling. And uh, the one brother answered, and he had, there were legs sticking out from behind the door because the other brother dropped dead, and they, he just left him there on the floor. Like, there was nothing to it. A pale, translucent figure appears in the background behind Timothy. The figure moves around strangely and behaves in a very abnormal way. Whoever or whatever this is doesn't look like a normal person and seems to be ghostly white with no prominent features. So did the paranormal nightmare team capture the ghosts of the mill workers calling out from beyond? And who or what is this? As always, I leave it up to you to decide. You can watch this entire investigation with interviews and even more possible paranormal sightings over on the YouTube channel, Paranormal Nightmare TV Series. Before we move on to the next video, if you see anything that you think should be included in the top five, contact us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Out of left field. For over a decade, Jim Barari worked hard to find the perfect home for her wife, Heather, and their six-year-old daughter, Ray. 
She eventually found an amazing colonial home in Pennsylvania that was built in the 1700s. The house sits on a 50-acre plot of farmland that also has a large renovated barn and two cottages. But soon after the renovations were finished, strange unexplained events begin to occur on the property. The family began to hear terrifying noises and bangs and even started to see odd shadow-like figures in the middle of the night. They decide to install security cameras in and around their home. And late one night, their outdoor security camera captures something chilling. the web and tries up my online basket and I've just saved 52 pounds on my Someone or something can be seen limping along behind Jen's home. Whatever it is, it makes a very eerie and unsettling moan or screech. At first, Jen isn't sure what to believe and hopes it's just one of her friends or neighbors playing a very strange prank. But over the course of the next three months, the activity becomes more and more unexplainable as the events intensify inside Jen's home. And now, whatever is going on, seems to start to affect her daughter, too. I know that is not and moving right now. Don't even. Oh my God. Oh. Yeah, like, I'm sorry that I curse and... Okay. Okay, can you stop? Oh my God. Okay, please stop. move around and fall on their own and Jen finds her daughter standing on her bed in the middle of the night just staring vacantly at nothing. Eventually Jen becomes convinced that she's dealing with real paranormal activity. She records another video to tell about the unexplainable events that she is experiencing. What happens next is absolutely terrifying. The last two nights have been f***ing awful. I'm going to just update you guys really quickly. Um, I'm in the barn house right now. I'm here alone. I'm hearing shit constantly. Last night I f***ing watched like a bald man walk out of the f***ing pond. I'll show you where it is. It's It was f***ing insane. This is what I keep hearing. And I'm home alone. Hello? here with me like whatsoever hello like 
I don't know. And my reflection's creeping out. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. You guys saw that, right? I'm not bugging. Like, here's my reflection. That's just my hair, okay. Hold on, I need to watch this. Guys, I wanted to show you the f***ing pun, but please tell me you see that. There's something. It looks like the old man is coming out, I swear to f***ing God, what the f*** was that? Jesus, and there's a light on in the f***ing God garage. This is so f***ing creepy. Oh my god, it's okay. It's okay. Holy sh Honestly. Okay, let's go. A shadow figure can be seen standing behind Jin in the reflection on the TV screen. She quickly spins around, but there's no one there. Then as Jin is looking out the window, another figure can be seen darting past the hallway right behind her. A loud bang frightens both Jin and her cat. And with that, she has had enough. Jin decides to just collect her pets and leave. So what do you think is going on at Jen's farm in Pennsylvania? Jen explains that she is currently seeking help from paranormal professionals as she can't move out and wants her family to be safe. You can watch all of Jen's paranormal experiences over on her TikTok page, Jay Barari, resident, Japanese paranormal. Japanese paranormal channel, the fourth wall, has been following the chilling story of an allegedly haunted house in Japan. The supposedly cursed home was once owned by a man named Suzuki, who moved into the house with his wife and young daughter. Over the following years, Suzuki began to behave very strangely. One day, he told his neighbor that he was horribly sad and grief-stricken because his wife and daughter had taken their own lives. The neighbor did his best to console poor Suzuki over his devastating loss. But the thing is, the neighbor later found out that Suzuki's wife and daughter were still very much alive. They had never taken their own lives and in fact, they were still living in the house with Suzuki. But ironically, only a few days later, it was actually Suzuki who took his own life. He was found hanging in an upstairs closet. His wife and daughter moved out of the house soon after. The next owner of the house claimed that he experienced extreme paranormal activity in the home and that he even saw the ghost of Suzuki wandering the house. He moved out of the home after only a few months. Now cut to present day and a guy named Meguro heard about the home's alleged supernatural activity and was so intrigued that he decided to move into the house so that he could study and document the alleged paranormal events firsthand. It was probably a huge mistake. Megaro sets up static cameras to record the upstairs rooms and almost immediately he begins to experience strange activity in the house. Now, the paranormal activity in the house doesn't seem to be limited to just the bedroom closet. Meguro sets up another security camera to monitor the bathroom area, and a few nights later, he catches this. Watch closely.
in the bathroom turns on by itself and then the door closes but most chilling of all we see some odd white shape that seems to be moving behind the closed bathroom door Naguro is alerted to the movement by his camera monitoring app he goes to check the bathroom but finds nothing there meanwhile the paranormal activity in Meguro's upstairs bedroom has begun to intensify as well As Megaro walks into the room and turns off the light, we can actually see the closet door open slightly all on its own, and then we hear those strange bangs from the closet again. Over the following week, Maguro begins to hear the closet sounds more often. And then, late one night, Maguro is having a smoke in the other bedroom before retiring for the night. His static cameras record something absolutely horrifying. As Maguro turns off the light in each room, and just before the security camera changes over to night vision, we see a strange dark shape just standing in the room. First in one bedroom, and then the odd figure seems to follow Maguro to the second bedroom. So could this be the ghost of Suzuki? Or is it something even more sinister? You decide. To check out the full series with English subtitles, head over to the YouTube channel, Fourth Wall. Hospital of Horrors. Indonesian paranormal explorer Chu from the YouTube channel Knob Team Explorer often travels to remote abandoned locations in Indonesia to broadcast his adventures live on YouTube. This time he finds himself at the ruins of Arsetto Hospital, located near the city of Solo in central Java, Indonesia. Arsetto Hospital was built back in 1915 and has been abandoned for over 20 years. It is said that long ago a Dutch nurse at the hospital tragically ended her own life and was found hanging in a hospital room. To this day both patients and visitors claim to have seen her unhappy spirit roaming the hospital halls. Locals also claim that the hospital was forced to close its doors after many patients began to complain that they had seen the terrifying ghosts of those who had passed away in the hospital. In the beginning of the live exploration, Chu doesn't seem to be bothered by the ghost stories and even taunts the spirits to try to get them to show themselves. He makes jokes, he laughs, and just generally acts a bit goofy. But then, he suddenly hears a sound that puts him in a much more serious mood.
là ada suara halo ada suara di ini ini, ini di pintu ini teman-teman astagfirullah eh tar dulu ada suara itu merinding gua aduh biung tar dulu tar dulu tar dulu, tar dulu. Ada suara, ada suara, ada suara dari 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 pintu dari pintu, sumpah di pintu ada yang gedor gedor co. The sound of a shaking door can be heard, and when Chu Pan's camera around two creepy legs can be seen hanging from the decaying hospital rooftop. Chu doesn't notice the legs, but when he goes back seconds later, there's nothing there. Now keep in mind, Chu is live streaming his investigation. Proven by the fact that he actually interacts with his live stream audience. And the live audience saw the hanging legs and starts flooding his live stream with messages. It kinda seems to freak him out. Aku mulai panik, Cok. Tadi ada kaki. Ada kaki? Kaki apa? Jangan nakut-nakutin ya, ini aku baru masuk loh guys Hah? Kaki, kaki siapa? Unaware of what he has captured, Chu continues to explore and begins joking around again Well, at least he jokes until something shocks him to his core uh. Ya udahlah, kita lanjut aja ya teman-teman ya Ya Allah ya Robi, apa itu? A small gray figure can be seen standing right in front of him. Shocked by the terrifying little humanoid shape, he turns and hurries away in the opposite direction. But when he turns around, whoever or whatever was there is now gone. Chu finally starts to take his own investigation very seriously and starts scouting the area in search of the mysterious figure he captured on camera. What happens next is truly bizarre. Hey! A figure that looks like a young girl moves out of sight behind a wall on the left. But that's not all. Because did you see it? Even the explorer Chu doesn't notice, but there is also a second large dark figure watching him from the weeds on the right. Both of these figures seem to simply disappear into thin air on the live stream. So are these the spirits of patients whose souls were never able to leave the hospital grounds? Is this creepy hanging apparition the spirit of the Dutch nurse who tragically took her own life? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Thanks so much for watching. You think it's elaborate hoax? That's creepy as fuck, that is. Like, proper creepy as fuck, like, what's it done? properly got me cold gave me, got me goosebumps <sighs> anyway say hoo, 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 hoo. hit that subscribe button hit that like button hit the notification bell change it to all so you don't miss one of our uploads any of them
like I said, we're going to start doing live streaming soon. Uh, as soon as I figured out how to do it all properly. Uh, again, if you know oh, any links or anything like that, put them down in the comments to help me with that. And we'll see you again next time on Lens World.